Douglas, we're here the last round of the Longin FEO World Cup. It's been a fantastic series for you, hasn't it? Yes, I'm very pleased. Uh, my horses have been really good. Uh, I tried my best and it so far has worked very good out. So. I know many things can happen, but on 41 points, it looks like at the age of 24, you could be going to your first final. Yes, it's quite of a big thing here in Sweden with all the newspapers and, and, and media attention and so on. I don't really want to scream yes yet, but uh, as you say, it looks very good. Good. Now, you, this was really your first year campaigning on the Longines series, and you've had some fantastic results. Um, how does that make you feel? Because I'm interested to know, you obviously wanted to qualify at the beginning, but did you think it would be as good as it has been? Um, I knew we were able to, but uh, a lot of things has to be in order and uh, uh, okay, you have to have a little bit of luck as well, uh, but so far I'm very happy. Uh, I, I thought we were ready for it and here we are. Let's just talk about being ready for it, let's just talk about the horses because you have a string of, of three very, very nice horses. Tell us what you've got here this weekend. I've got the three best ones. Uh, number one, Casello. Um, I rode him since he was uh, four years old, uh, so we go way back, as you say. Um, I've got also Eudermus for tonight's uh, Grand Prix, uh, and my, my old love, Cas uh, uh, Talina, um, who I won also the European Championships with, and uh, yeah, she's, she's amazing. How old is she now? Because cause you won the European Championships, what was that, four years ago, I think? Uh, 2010, yes. Yeah. Uh, she's now 15, and I would say she never felt this good. Now, I know you've been riding a long time, although you're still very young, but jumping here in Gothenburg in front of your home crowd, what's, you know, nothing like it. No, no words can describe it. Um, if you manage to make a clear round or you're in the lead and you just smile, it's fantastic. Right. Now, you talked about the media coverage. Obviously, the lights are on you a lot at the moment. Does that worry you? Does that make you nervous? Not really. I, I kind of in, enjoy it. I, I want to spread my feeling and my... Uh, I mean, this is what I love to do and I would like to inspire other, other young people as well. Um, so, I'm just happy to, to spread the word and... Uh, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and give other people the belief they can do it. Exactly. I'm, I'm young and they're young and uh, I'm a boy and I would like to encourage other young boys to ride as well. Well, there is a bit of work to do over the next two days, but looking forward just to once more to Las Vegas. Um, so which, which horse would you take to Las Vegas, Douglas? I would bring my best horse, Casello, to Las Vegas. Uh, he has been doing very good this season, uh, doing most of the World Cups, and he feels super. Now, have you ever been to Las Vegas before? I have actually never been to Las Vegas, nor uh, America at all. So. Never flew with the horses, so it's a, it's a big journey. Wow, that's fantastic. This is going to be very exciting. Well, we wish you the very best of luck this weekend, and we look forward to seeing you in April, but this weekend is what we focus on. So good luck tonight, and good luck in the Longin FIA World Cup tomorrow. Thank you very much.